Hey you folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play, another episode of European Universalis 4 as Super Ulm. Or, well, New Ulm, but, you know, should have been named Super Ulm. Uh, it's a custom nation. If you want to know what my custom ideas are, go back and check video number one. It's all explained in there. Recently just vassalized Switzerland. Mostly we're going to sit on our hands for a little bit longer now because we want to, um, we're, we're basically at our cap of aggressive expansion. So we have to make sure and just bring that down a notch uh, before I make any other moves. But so far, I'm, I'm quite content with how things are going. We have a lot of points kicking around. I'm just waiting for some of... Oh, the ahead of time penalty has gone away. Excellent. So we'll do that. We'll get the extra production efficiency, which is going to increase our money. We can do a new decision. The De Heritio, Heritico Camburendo Act. Um, Last until the end of the game. More reform desire, but gives us more tax money, and missionary strength. Well, that's a no-brainer, especially since I am planning on going Protestant, so the faster um, the faith can reform, the better. As soon as it pops, we will go ahead and adopt a different religion, get a center of uh, religion over here, which will bring us into conflict with a lot of people. A lot of people. It's going to be dicey. I'm hoping that another one of my big neighbors, like if um, the Protestant Reformation starts in something like Bohemia, we're going to be in much better state because I'll be able to sort of rely on them, um, you know, and when we set up our, our leagues and our defenses. Luckily, uh, Burgundy has not been in um, inherited by Austria, although I think Burgundy has grown, which means if Austria does inherit Burgundy, it's going to be a bad, bad, bad day. Huh. What if we get a royal marriage and alliance with Burgundy? Never occurred to me until just now. Let's, let's work on that a little bit and see what we can do. I'm going to try and improve relationship with Switzerland as much as possible. Again, their liberty desire may go up as they build more troops, but they actually like me, um, which is nice. A lot of times you get these vassals, and because of wars and different things like that, they start off at like minus 150, uh, which makes it pretty likely that they're going to want to break away. And there's a real risk that they might, um, if they can get people to support their independence here, just because our sizes are relatively similar. But... Um, at this point in the game, we are not so poorly off. Did my relationship just tank slightly here? I lied to rival. Ah, Austria. Yeah. Still, we can overcome that. We just need to keep working on our, uh, on our relationship a little bit. We'll get there. Now, we do sort of indirectly, um, border Burgundy via Switzerland, which might lead to some pressure. Wow, Burgundy is a beast this game. I mean, maybe this is, you know, par for the course or whatever, but I don't know. It feels like it. Oh, Liberty Desire just went above 51%. wonder why that is. Oh, their technology improved. They got another level of, um, Bavaria declared war on Nuremberg. Reconquest. Right, because do they still have a core there? Oh, they did, too. Yeah, that's, I mean, sort of legit. What else is in the war there? Just Nuremberg. All right. Talent engineer. Um, yeah, I'll pay money to get military power. Sure. And yeah, right now we just have to wait because if we look, yeah. At, at aggressive expansion above 30, the AI or any nation can technically join a coalition. And if they hated me a little bit more, they'd be more willing to do it. Or if I was still a little bit weaker, they would do it. Um, but so I have to be careful. I can't expand right now. Um, so we do have a new set of missions here. Rival of Arrival. If we make France like us. Hansbach declared war. Interesting. Um, or Wurzburg like us. Is there any reason? We actually might get an alliance with France. And the reward is some bonus points, right? Which one is this? This is Wurzburg. This is France. We get some Diplo points. Fuck it. Let's, let's give it a try. Man, it's going to be really nice once we get uh, those deeper influence ideas where we get extra relationship slots. Because that's going to come in pretty handy. Sucking so up to Burgundy. I can cancel the Swiss thing. Well, they still have Liberty Desire. Anyway, let's cancel the Burgundy one, even though it's, I think it's still got some real potential. Let's start sucking up to France and see what we can do. We'll get back to Burgundy later. So, let's kick it up to speed four. We're mostly just playing the diplomatic game right now. Uh, we'll wait... A few more years before we can soak in Switzerland. And we will. We will definitely annex them at our earliest possible convenience. Uh, I don't remember. Do we have... We do have the, the cheaper diplomatic annexation, which is nice. And soon... Oh, that's reputation, so we'll annex faster. This one here is the one we want. The plus one diplomatic uh, relations would be nice. Uh, I've got some money right now. It's probably worth... Um, that's interesting. 
if I did that, the liberty desire would drop. It is manageable right now. No, I'll, I'll save for the ideas. It's fine. Um, and I will go and build. We'll try to get these temples up, increase our tax income. It's good long-term investment. Okay, we have high enough Republican tradition. I'm going to go ahead and keep my guy once. At least once. That'll drop us down to 71. So we have a little bit more national unrest and things, but we're okay. Yeah, this, this liberty desire is not really there. They do have bigger power compared to me. I don't know why that is. Is it because my military spending is all the way down? Like, it says they have 101.5% relative power to New Ulm, which is to say me. But I have more troops. And I probably have better tech. No, okay, we're both on level 6. Uh, I'm going to do this. Higher Diplo Rep is going to be useful. I actually don't know all the effects of Diplo Rep, to be honest. Uh, increase the chance of having various diplomatic offers accepted by other countries. Yeah, just, yeah, that's right. It adds an extra plus to things like, you know, becoming married or whatever. Chance of inheritance per, in, in a personal union. I forgot about that. Of course, improves diplomatic annexation and integration, which is one of the big things that comes up quite often here. So if I went to moust over the royal marriage, ah, they'd be willing to do it if I had someone. So let's go ahead and actually, let's just cancel Switzerland for a sec. Plus, my diplomat will come home from Switzerland very quickly. To marry France. Definitely above our relationship settings at this point. Oh, they'd even be wary, willing to have an alliance, which obviously we're going to do. Oh, royal marriage with Austria has gone away. Boom. I don't think... Th I, it might potentially pull us into some relationships we don't want, but I don't know. Take Brezgau. Um, that would be nice. First of all, where's Brezgau? It's over here. Do we have a claim on it already? We do, as the Switzerland... Um, but I think our aggressive expansion is a little too high. Let's take this mission for now. Let's find out where the hell Wurzburg is, because I never remember. Ah, up here. They would accept an alliance. <sighs> we're capped on relationships, though. Well, I mean, we're over-capped. We're at 6 of 4 right now. So I have to figure out what I'm going to do with uh, Bavaria over here. They, are, they only have three provinces. It's definitely conceivable that we could just war them. Royal marriage from Austria. Yes, I'm going to keep that going. If we replace our leader, I think that will break our relationship with Bavaria. It depends on things. It's a little inconsistent. Because um, that would free up a slot, which would be good. I mean, I could just go and tell them, but that would give me a stability penalty, right? Yay, temples. How much money am I making? Enough to hire an advisor. Do we have another... Yeah, he's too expensive. Better relations over time is good for burning away aggressive expansion. Now, we do still have the modifiers, at least for now. Yeah, not long enough to reduce aggressive expansion impact. Plus, I mean, I have minus 40 naturally, but there was another 20 there, which was pretty amazing and really made uh, vassalizing Switzerland viable. Because otherwise it would not have been. This liberty desires dropped quite low. See, my military power has apparently gone up relative to them. For no reason whatsoever. France! You're conquering, conquering Provence. I will agree. This will be nice and safe and perfectly fine. I'll bump up the army maintenance just in case. But yeah. We'll be fine. Take a look. So Savoy's in on this. Um, let's go ahead and move into Wallace, actually. Uh, does Switzerland have a claim on it? It does. We might be willing to peace out early here. We're going to personally need some uh, war score. Split you in half. And take some more land in Savoy. Now, we'd be negotiating with Provence directly, though. Oh, that's right. Provence is down to just one thing, so I don't think we'll have any personal war score. Um, also, Castile is all up inside of France. France, hang on. Did I screw up here? France, how many troops do you have? I assume this would be fine. They only have 21,000, and a force limit of 27,000, and no manpower. And Castile? 
Um, well, hmm. We'll have to be on guard over here. If we can convince them to attack us in the hills or mountains, that would be nice. Hmm. All right, that's, that's a bit of a war. It's a bit of a war. Oh, we're against the Papal States, too. That's right, they were in the list. Um, let me pull back to there. I don't want them to attack a three stack. A seven stack? That's fine. That'll live long enough to be reinforced. Also, a three stack with no leader. Um... That engagement we could take. It'll be reinforced. We'll get reinforced here. I'm going to start doing this sort of thing, though. Oh, they're still going to go? Even though I'm moving in? Really? We'll actually get there slightly first. They're still coming. Oh, there we go. They did cancel. Alright, I'll move back down to Pimo. Um, I would like some prestige, actually. I don't need that much papal influence. Can't invest in anything. There you go. Look at that. Plus 12 prestige. Look at me! Despite everything I'm doing, I can't believe my prestige is so low, if I'm gonna be honest. If they want to come to PMO, like, I would love it if they came here, but there's another army kicking around. Because we would crush them. There'd be reinforcements from all over the place. Alright, let's go up to speed 3. Mostly it's gonna be a bit of a cold war here. This is a bit of a problem. I suspect France will just have to peace out. And likewise, I don't really expect um, us to be able to grab anything over here, but it's, you know, it's a nice pipe dream. Are you really breaking that siege to do... Oh, there's a real fight going on. Hold on. I didn't realize that. Um... Oh, oh, they did jump in. You know, black news indeed. This is fine. They're not... Uh, oh, they're fighting in hills. I'm going to stay here. You won't need me for that battle. These guys are fine. Who is this? What flag is this? Armagnac. Ah! One of the French uh, vassals, I assume. And that is something I need to check, too, is see if I can diplo-vassal people. Because that would be an excellent way to expand. Especially once I eat um, Switzerland here. Then I'll have a larger tax base. I should be able to start uh, um, vassalizing single province people in the HRE. Assuming I haven't pissed them off too much. Yeah, go back to Wallace. You broke that siege. So all of France is going to be sieged over here. We are, you know, generally speaking, losing that war. It's costing me a little bit because I am having to manpower up these guys. Uh, diplomatic reputation, even more. Huh, all right. Don't mind if I do. We are 100% capped with France. I'll, I'll let it finish. We are currently in a war, so we might not be at 200. I meant to say, like, we're at 200. Our um, improved relations isn't all the way there, but we're in a... Actually, I guess there's no war. No, in a war is 25. There we go. I was pretty sure there was something. This is Burgundy and Milan. Burgundian Conquest of Badawa. Alright. Yeah, Burgundy is going to keep growing, and we've got a really weak France going on. This is far from ideal. Looks like they might win a battle over there, although there may be some reinforcements coming from the north. It'd be really nice if they got caught out, actually. They might be coming to fight me here, which would be okay. Actually, if they start that fight... Oh, I don't want to break the siege. No, they've changed their mind. Hm, there we go. Let's move to Wallace. Like, oh, that is, what? Oh, you've got some troops there, though. It might be relevant. I'm going to start moving in that direction. There's some little reinforcements and things. Also, I might just get there. Like, France might lose that fight, but these guys might have no morale, so I might just be able to step on them. Yeah, they lost, but they have no morale. Roughly even numbers. They do have a good leader. 3-3-1. Three, three, 
I still have, it's just a one, zero, three. I won't get the river crossing. It's flat. My troops have full morale. I've got the bonus um, discipline. They're only military like tech five. That's great. Yeah, we'll definitely take this engagement. Look at this. That, that combat tactics is huge. They actually have slightly more morale. But, oh, what happened to their leader? Didn't they have a 3-3 three, three leader? Boom. One. Um, they are going to jump on me, though. And... 3-5-3. Three, three. Double plus on good. Can I make it there? The answer is no. Well, a boy can dream. Alright, so my troops will go wee all the way home. Actually, we didn't do that terribly there. We, you know, inflicted some amount of losses. We still have more manpower than France or Castile have in, like, in reserve. I mean, our force limit is low. And actually, we can add a little bit more forces. So let's go ahead and drop some troops. There we go. Who are you? Or... You, uh, I guess you ran all the way here after losing a battle. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. So yeah, balancing France is, is very important. Like, I guess a France that's about the same strength as a Burgundy is good. Oh, Savoy pieced out. Which is actually quite good for France. Their war score hurts a little bit. But, like, the fact that I, I helped siege that means they could get out Savoy, which means slightly fewer troops for them to fight. Which is way more important than losing a little bit of extra war score. We'll recall this diplomat and send him in to Burgundy, who we could marry. Right now, I'll just improve relations. We'll get back to that. So, now what does the war look like? Like that. They're working the war goal, which I guess is fine and legit. I suppose I'll go and sit in uh, Dauphiné, where I won't get attritioned. But I can still be nearby to help reinforce if something happens. If that's all that Castile still has around here, this could end up going in France's favor. Which right now, I'm okay with because they're my allies. But later on, like 200 years from now, mark my words, I'll be like, God damn it, France. Why are you such a pain in the butt? Do that, they might get reinforced, but... We'll get a little bit of uh, tradition. And then I can say that it helped the war. I mean, I already helped by um, sieging PMO. I'm pretty convinced of it. I'm sure that was very helpful. So we'll be sitting in the mountains, getting no attrition whatsoever, and just feeling good about ourselves. Excellent. Meanwhile, attacker against Ansbach in a punitive war. I think when Ansbach took Nuremberg over here, I think they've got so much aggressive expansion that a coalition formed. Oh my god, see? See, they weren't playing smart. Just by taking this one little province, they went and triggered a coalition on themselves. Which is why I was playing so cautiously. Okay, Castile's not reinforcing over there, although... No, France has got it, it's fine. Mostly hanging here so that they can finish sieging Provence. I suppose I could help with my leader. Um, actually, I don't think it would because France would still be leading the siege. Never mind. Varia has announced Nuremberg as new rival. Look at that. Popped back. And if we check the aggressive expansion map here, they actually still have quite a bit. And the Pal Palatinate, the Palatine, <laughs> have uh, a rebellion going on. Hmm. Varia, Bavaria is rivaling me now. Okay, fair enough. I will rival you back at my earliest convenience, my friend. Or my former friend. We still have royal ties. If they were to attack me right now, they would take a stab hit, so they probably wouldn't do it. Um, ah, there we go. France. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, what, what? France gave up on the war. It's giving Normandy and Labour... Where's, where's Labour? Down here. Normandy and the Boer, they gave them back to England. France will end their overlordship over Auvergne and pay money. Holy crap. France just got destroyed.
Oh, he might be able to vassalize these guys. There's distance. Can we make up that many points if we get married? If I build military? I actually don't know. We'd have to get to plus 190, which I think we could probably do. Uh, cheaper tech. I don't need the missionaries right now. Huh. Yeah, we're going to really have to start looking at uh, diplomatic openings over here. Right. Oh, that's right. That was a, okay, so Provence itself is owned by the Papal States. Oh, wow. Really? Is there still Provence? Yeah, just in Maine. That is crazy. I've never seen this before. Because the Papal States, I mean, they, they start with Avignon, but they apparently now own, they had Provence. So this war was against the Papal States, which I guess I knew if I was, you know, paying attention. But it never really clicked the implications. This is, this is crazy. All right, where's my troops? Come home. Do we still have a claim over here? We do. How long does that last? Eight more years. I don't know if our aggressive expansion can handle it, but if there was ever a time to pounce on Bavaria, it would be now. Six of four. I mean, we can clear one up if we cancel the royal marriage. Which I guess we will do. Because if we declared war right now, I think we'd lose two. Oh, it's just one. If we break royal ties, we still lose one. Really? I guess this wouldn't break the royal marriage. It does give bonus war exhaustion right away, though. I think that's one of the differences. Let's break the royal ties. Free up a relationship. Oh, you're actually allied with Bavaria. So that's... We're not going to be able to pull you into the war. Who else hates? You only have one enemy. The Platinate, who is obviously not going to help me. Alright, let's see here. we got to wait before we can see declaring war and what the, uh, the results will be. Are we still in full maintenance? I think we should be. We are. We are at our uh, limit there. Indeed. Manpower is, you know, slightly over above half, which is something. Um, let's take a look at uh, Bavaria. You have 9,000 dudes. I have 9,000 dudes. If I declare war, uh, uh, Austria won't come in, but Bohemia and Milan both will. Bohemia in particular is going to be huge. Wurzburg and Baden. Baden, um, who else are you allied with? Trier. Because if I co Baden... <sighs> so I could take them... Oh, no, I don't... Derp. I don't have... <laughs> the aggressive expansion is a big limit here. I could still um, humiliate them, though, when they jump in, which is exactly what we will do. So let's go and declare war for Memogen. This doesn't create any aggressive expansion by itself. And we've got Bohemia. Okay. I like it. But you know what? Before I hit the declare war button, we're going to put a cut in this video. Whoa! What a cliffhanger. Next episode, we are going to go and try to fight for our right to own Memogen. Memogen. I, I should really go and do a Forvo in that province and figure out how to say it. But I don't know. Memogen. Kind of fun. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.